Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play These Boots Are Made For Walking, as recorded by Nancy Sinatra on guitar. Now this is a super fun song and a crowd pleaser for sure. I'm gonna break down the main acoustic guitar part through the whole thing so you can get playing this song just like the recording today. And this part is gonna work great to sing along to or play in a band and I've even stolen some of the bass line parts and also the electric guitar parts and combine it in with this. So if you were just doing this version by yourself, it would sort of capture some of those classic elements from the recording that we love and combine it into one guitar part. Real quick though, before we dive into the lesson, if you're new to the channel, I've got a gift for you. If you struggle with learning the neck or putting together scales and chords, I've got this awesome fretboard guide that I made, and it's just a one-page PDF, but it shows you the five chords and scales I use to map out the entire fretboard. This works for any key and any style of music, and I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below. Made it easy for you there. Again, it's completely for free. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's dive into this lesson. All right, so the song kicks off with this upright bass, just doing this bass slide. And so what I play for that is I start up here at the 12th fret. And I'm on the low E string, that sixth string. And I'm going to walk all the way down every fret, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down to 5, okay? So I don't skip any frets. And I play each note twice. So it goes like this. And those are quarter notes there, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So again, each note twice. Then after that, I come down to an E chord. So that's gonna go like this. Now if you had an upright bass player, they could play the bass slide and then you could just strum the E chord. But what I'm playing there on the E is open, two, two, one, open, open. So all six strings, just a standard E chord. And I'm gonna keep my strum hand moving back and forth. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. But I'm gonna accent what I call the back beats. So that's beats two and four. I'm just gonna strum those a little harder like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm also kind of breaking up the strings. Bass strings, then treble strings. That's the intro. Then from there we go into the verse and we actually stay on that E chord for eight bars. So it's quite a while. So what I do is count the bars. So if I go one and two and three and four and, that's actually one bar. So I'm gonna do eight of those. It's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After those eight bars of E, again, the vocals in there singing, then we go to what's called the four chord. Here, I'm gonna play an A7, and this is from the fifth string down. Open, two, open, two, open. Now this is gonna last for four bars, so I'm gonna keep the same, just back and forth strum hand going, but I'm gonna play it half the length. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Then I'll return back to the E for four more bars. So one, two, three, four. All right, from there we kick into the chorus, and that's where Nancy is singing, these boots are made for walking. But before we look at that, let me play the entire verse now. So just to recap, it's eight bars of E, four bars of A7, back to four bars of E. So it's actually 16 bars total. Here it is. A one, two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to A7. One, two, three, four. Back to E. One, two, three, four. All right, now let's check out the chorus. Here we're going to play this. All right, so we're going to play two chords here. We're going to start on the G. And you can play any G that's comfortable for you. I'm actually just playing this. It's like the four finger G. I just take off the index finger there and I mute the fifth string. Then we're gonna go to E minor. So before we were playing an E major, but now in the chorus, we're gonna play an E minor. So we just take off that index finger. Now I'm also changing up the strumming pattern here for the chorus. Instead of just one and two and three and four and one and two, which you could, you could keep the same strumming pattern, but I like changing the feel just slightly. Here I go, down, down, up, up, down, up. One and two and three and four. the last E minor, then we just hit that chord. One, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four. Then we go back to the bass slide. So all together I'm going G, E minor, G, E minor. On the third time, G, hit that E minor and break. A one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, bass. All right, so that is the chorus. Now I want to show you just some fancier things that you can add to that. So just get that part down first and be able to play through the whole thing. Then you can add some more of these little embellishments. So the first thing I'll show you is on that E chord you can kind of hear this cool groove that you could mix in with, you know, the verse or when the vocal's not singing or maybe on the intro. And instead of just going, you can go. So this is pretty rocking here for acoustic. What I'm doing is I'm keeping that same one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, but I'm starting out, I'm starting on that E minor and then going to E major. And then I just hit the open strings on B4, so. Right, so you could have the verse like, You can see how you can mix that in. Now there's a really cool part in the chorus on the electric that's like <laughs> it just does this bass line. So that's just walking down G, F sharp, F, E, and then back up every fret. So I like to mix that in with the strumming part like Remember, we are going down, down, up, up, down, up. On the last up, down, up, you can do a picking bass line there. So you can mix in those fancier guitar parts, but again, start with the first part and then build it out from there. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna help you make that connection between the chords and the scales. Again, it works for any key and any style of music. All you gotta do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you in another video real soon.